And we join it with Grizzly against John Paul. Now, if Grizzly can beat John Paul, it would help Jeff's cause in closing that three-point difference. And Grizzly, you would think, his huge weight must be an advantage. But Grizzly's down and rules dictate he must get up quickly. Doesn't he look better in champagne? Well, he was hoping that his success last night would act as a spur to improve his position with this event today. But a consoling hand from the victor, John Paul, who's looking stronger by the minute. But it means that Grizzly could only make sixth place, one ahead of the injured Walders. And now the bout between the two experts in this game. Jeff Capes is reckoned to be almost unbeatable in man-to-man -man tug of war. But the Canadian Highland Games champion is no slouch either, and this could be interesting. Okay. Take the strain! Oh, 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 well, yes, I think David Webster stopped the bout because in his excitement, Jeff jumped the gun and started pulling just a fraction before the whistle blew. There's a look of don't do that again to me, brother, on Dusko's face. Well, Jeff's sheer power and good technique literally swept the Canadian off his feet and the title holder is looking impressive. Normally, people simply feast the eye in the harbour, but the counter-attraction on the quay has a lot going for it. John Paul Singleton of Iceland, Jean-Pierre of France. I can fight you for it! Take the strain! Put the on me! <laughs> well, it would appear that Monsieur Brewer isn't too keen on early morning dips, but a man from Reykjavik has other ideas. This is French synchronized swimming. Well, going in has saved him penalty points. Coming out has saved him pneumonia. Well, at least you can say about these big men, the fun is clean. Now it's the turn of wrestler Klaus Wallace against Jeff Capes, wearing his gunfighter look. Take the strain. And again, Jeff turning on that awesome technique and power, but Klaus hasn't disgraced himself. He beats Brulwa earlier, so that means the best result yet and a very creditable third place for this pleasant Austrian. And now the showdown. Capes versus Sigmundsen. Not looking quite so confident for a change. Jewel and the sun. The personality is as tight as a rope. And Jeff's got him. That's a great result. But there's a tremendous bond between these two. But the big Lincolnshire man's experience made him unbeatable.